All right, folks, giving you a, a few seconds. Uh, mostly these videos I'm learning, these Facebook videos, these live videos, um, what I'm learning is they're residual. These live videos are residual. There's more people that come on later than that are, that are live. So I want to capture a moment. This is epic, guys. As you're tuning in, don't leave. Don't tune the channel yet. Don't change the channel. We are in Anaheim, California. We're not in the church. We're not in a conference. We're out in the streets. It's where we were bred to go. Christians, this is where you were bred to go. This is, this is homecoming for a lot of Christians as God introduced, introduced us back to the streets. But we have an anomaly in Anaheim. We've got an epic, it's, it's, it's breathtaking actually. There is an empty riverbed just over here by Angel Stadium that as far as the eye can see are tents are homeless people. It's unbelievable, folks. We're in Anaheim, California, the, the, the home of Disneyland, Mickey Mouse, synonymous with fun and family and money and Saddleback Church. There is a homeless camp that you cannot believe. It's unimaginable. And I wanna show you what's happening. Christians, this is homecoming for a lot of you. This is what Christianity is about. Look, look at this, folks. We're live. We're live. Look at this. Look at this. They're taking food. Look at this. Pallets. The Dream Center of Stockton. They brought pallets of food. They drove six hours. Sometimes it's hard for us to go six minutes to help somebody. Look at this. We've got people from all over. And we're heading into one of the biggest tent cities I've ever seen. Folks, this is homecoming for the church. We need to get out in these streets again. We, we, have an, we have an epidemic. It's a crisis, folks, in America. We're in Anaheim, California, Disneyland, Donald Duck, you know, Saddleback Church. And there's a homeless city over here that is, it's, it's, it's unprecedented. And so look at this. Check this out, folks. As far as you can see, look at this. Christians. Look at this, bro. Come here, man. What do you got in your arms here? Look at this. It doesn't take a lot to reach the streets. <laughs> cheese balls, folks. Go get some cheese balls. God's this is all you need. Marching through Look the at land. <laughs> Mr. Bill, tell these folks how easy it is to do uh, this. Come on. The Bible says to go, and God says in Exodus 4.12, I will be with your mouth, and I will teach you what to say. So if you go, God goes with you. Come wow. on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Wow. Look at this. We're being joined. Rosie, Douglas, Daniel, Margie, folks, listen. This is it. The world's waiting for us. The, the stage is set. This is our magnum opus. This is the crescendo. This is the church at its best. So here we go. Folks, follow me, man. Come on. I feel like Geraldo. Do I kind of look like Geraldo today? Look at this. We got, introduce yourself, brother. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, Pastor Neil Lombre. Pos, pa, uh, uh, apostle? Pastor yeah, Neil? Past, yes. Wow. What Through brought you here today? You were just compelled to come, weren't you? Yes. Wow. Do you do this often? Is this kind of new to you, or is yeah, it, kind of, it is. It is. This is new to you. See, this is this yeah. is homecoming for a lot of lot of Christians, including pastors. Don't feel awkward or ashamed. It's time to hit the streets, folks. It really is. Amen. It really is. And here, here we got Brother Reuben. Reuben, this ain't that hard to do, is it? No, it's not. No. If you believe what you're doing, you'll take it on the street. And God will give you the miracles, signs, everything you need. Oh, God. Isn't Praise that God. phenomenal? Amen. Yes. Amen. See that, bro? Come on. So follow me, guys. Come on. This is it. Geraldo live in the streets of Anaheim. Look at this. Now, you guys, hang in there. Don't tune the channel yet. You've got to see this tent city. It's unprecedented. I'm just getting goosebumps. I'm so honored to be on this Facebook Live to help you. Christians find your way back into the harvest I know it seems daunting it seems overwhelming it seems improbable you don't have the talent the money the anointing no it's not about that it's just love come on I think we've got uh, hold on who do we got on here where's my buddy Daniel Black it's all about love ain't it Daniel if you got love it's not difficult to reach people it's easy it's easy hang on we're at a stoplight you've just got to see this they're still back here unloading all this food. Look at this, look at this, come on. We got a green light, check this out, check this out. Oh. Welcome home, church. Welcome home to the harvest, to the harvest. You gotta see this, folks. I don't know if I can turn the camera. Let me, let me experiment. 
Jesus! What'd you say? Jesus! Yeah! Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> oh, check this out, folks. Look at this. We're now entering. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Man, what are you guys out doing? Talk, talk to me. We're, actually, we're out just uh, impacting our community here in Anaheim, Tent City. Um, Come on. Just bringing them a bunch of food and uh, anything that they need to, uh, you know, to bring the glory of God through, you know, through our action and love. Yeah. Pray for them. Um, if they need to get off, you know, this this uh, this place where they're at, yeah, offer them shelter or whatnot. How long you been saved, bro? Since I was 16. <laughs> wow, it's just, it's just so gratifying and satisfying as a Christian to come out here and do this stuff. Yeah, well, I was actually raised out here in Anaheim. Right? Wow. So I, I was, since I was little from Mexico, I came out here, and um, you know, I was actually uh, addicted to meth for a long time, and um, they picked me up off the streets. And, Praise um, God, we love you, back. man. Love you too. Wow. What's up, brother? How's it going? Hallelujah. Hey, yeah, Lewis. The tell day. these people this isn't hard to do. Oh no, you're a pastor, no. Lewis. This ain't hard to do, is it? No, no, it's not. No. Wow. Everybody should be doing this. And I, I believe know. it's part of everybody's heart who has the Holy Spirit within their heart. Come on. And I'm telling you, this is a, a beautiful day, and to see the faces of these homeless when we bring this much food to them is amazing. They're already, they're like, they have anticipation in their hearts, and they're, they're ready to say yes. I want now, it. I want to. But we're gonna feed them not only with this, but with the Word of God. Yeah. And we're gonna feed them and give them, and the Holy Spirit be filled with the Holy Spirit as well. So we're gonna give that invitation. We're gonna share this with them, and I believe many are gonna to come to the Lord. Come on. The Lord already gave me two names. I'm been looking for a Jesse and a Katie because the Lord told me they're gonna be in ministry. Yes. And I'm gonna prophesy over their yes. lives. Yes. I'm telling you, they're gonna be the. They're not gonna be the same anymore. God. It's gonna be a new day for them. So I can't wait to see what happens. Now, no, yeah. Lewis, I know you're busy, but listen, <laughs> yes. there's a lot of people turning. Along. My, my friend Harlan from uh, <laughs> Thomasville, Butch Christian from uh, from Jacksonville. Oh, uh, people yes. are tuning in. A lot yes. of Christians, this is kind of foreign to them. Mm -hmm. and they're awkward. How do I get out in the streets? Can you pray for those viewing that it's not hard? We just got to have the love of God oh, for these people. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's, it's the ease. It really is easy. First thing, just find out where they're at. Yes. Uh, over here in, in this area, we uh, you know, going down the freeway, yes. you just look down the levee and uh, there they were. There's yes. camps all over so uh, once you get that, start praying, get others together, and then even ask people, uh, you know, I'm thinking of helping out the homeless. Uh, can we gather a few things? Yes. What do they need? They need socks. Come on. Socks can be used not only on their feet, but they could use in the cold time. They put it on their hands to keep themselves warm. Yes. I'm telling you. It's, so yeah, oh. men's socks, uh, women's socks. And I'll, I'm just going to say it like this. You know, they're, on. they're highly in need of even underwear, okay? And, and personal hygiene. It, it, yes, that's right. Women's yeah. hygiene. Yes, all that is necessary. Yes. Uh, and they need it because they don't have a way to to uh, wash their clothes necessarily all the time. That's and right. They have to wear it and then they get dirty and they discard it. <laughs> so now with the provision that we have, there's wool hats, there's, Come on. Uh, we have socks, we have uh, uh, jackets, we have shoes. All this is uh, a treasure for them. Come they on. They don't have this. Plus, we brought Bibles. Uh, we have Bibles to distribute. Come the Word on. Of God. And uh, I'm telling you, I know that there's a calling on these people. Yes. And, uh, so I'm excited. Now, listen, folks, you're tuning in. Isn't that it? That's Pastor Lewis Barragon. Hey, Kevin Frazier, uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, in the house. Look at this, folks. Look at this. It's the streets. There, you can't even grasp the magnitude of this. As far as you can see in this empty riverbed are tents, homeless people, as far as your eye can see. And we've, we've showed up in force. We got pastors, leaders, Stockton Dream Center. They've got a barbecue. We're setting up camp right here. Check this out, guys. Some of you are uh, coming. This is so amazing, folks. This is what Christianity is all about. Now, if you look in the foreground, you'll see Angel Stadium. Jesus. What'd you say? Jesus. Who's the king? Jesus. Oh, man, come on. Now, look at this, folks. We are so blessed. Anaheim, synonymous with... What's up, brother? What's up, Jesus? Synonymous with Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Here we are. Look, folks, I don't know if you can see this. If you're on a big, flat screen, focus. Look at this. In the distance, look over here. That is the angel, uh, the baseball field, the, the famous, the A for... Uh, California Angels, Honda Center. They're having a big game today. As far as you can see, homeless camps, folks. Listen, you don't have to go far to be a Christian. You don't have to even go overseas. Just go across the street, folks. This is epic. Epic.
Brandon McNabb, Stockton, California. Hey, Stockton has also came down here. We have the whole Dream Center. Look, as far as you can see. And we're about to take all this food, folks. Listen, look at this. Ralph, what's this like? Two miles one way and two miles the other way all along the riverbed. What is it? Tell me, explain it. What's two miles this homeless. way? And homeless people. That's four miles of homeless people. Over 400 units of families. Over 400 units of families are living here homeless in squalor. They need Jesus. A lot of them. A lot of them just fell on hard times, couldn't make their bills, couldn't make the ends meet, and end up here. My God. They send people here because Jesus. they're out there on the streets and they're like looking need a place to go and they're trying to clean the street, streets up so word of mouth is to come here and so it's just grown. My God. Yeah, it's crazy. This is what we're facing in America and and folks, this is what we're facing in America and we've, we've squeezed in here. You know, we, we have to do something now, folks. We can't stand idly by. We can't rest in our laurels. We can't live in an afterglow of Christianity. Right. Past revivals, past meetings, past conferences, convocations. We've got to become, our consciousness needs to be pricked. We need to be convicted, folks. Listen, Christianity without conviction is not Christianity at all. It's not just a big party. Uh, God needs people that will mourn with those who mourn. Right. That will rejoice with those who rejoice. It's time for a big party, but the party God wants, folks, is when the prodigal son comes home. I think we've got the cart in front of the horse lately, last 20 years. We have a big party, but the prodigal son hasn't come home yet, folks. we got to get the lost back. we got to get the sick back. Oh, my God. So, so folks, we want to just pray for you right now. This is a homecoming for a lot of Christians tuning in. They'll be watching this for weeks. And we are praying. Squeeze in some more of you. Come in here, brother. Squeeze in here. We are praying for the church. Folks, we have to have an awakening. Not just to our morality, not just to our political beliefs and who we voted for. We got to become acutely aware of the streets. We have four miles of homeless people in one city. We've got to be, become awakened, our consciousness, to feed the poor, to do the things that Jesus admonished us to do. We have to do it, folks. So we're encouraging you. A lot of you have had desires to do this in the past. You've wanted to get out here. You've wondered how to do it. Make some soup. Make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I want to encourage all my friends out there. It's time. We got to do this. We can do this. Amen. 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 So I'm going to stay on for a few more minutes. I want to take you into the tents. I don't want to be uh, intrusive, though. I don't want to be filming the homeless people, make them feel uncomfortable. But I'll get you as close as I can, okay? This is why I do ministry, folks. I don't travel and leave my family and, and come out here to make money and, and make build an itinerary and, and have a cool website. Folks, this is it. God saved me to save others. God did not save me to preach to people that have been preached to a thousand times. God did not save me to have some prophetic presbytery in some Christian convocation. God did not save me from the streets on escape from prison to uh, get lost in the catacombs of Christianity. God saved you, friend, to go back to the derelict, the desperate, the decadent, the dilapidated. God saved you to save others, friend. And if you're not doing that, we have to return to our first love. We're living in Laodicea. We become lukewarm. And God would rather us cold and backslidden than to be lukewarm. So folks, we've got to come back to this. It's time. We need prophets in the streets. We need the apostolic in the streets. We need people. We need you. Look at this. Four miles of tents, folks. People need Jesus. You're not waiting for a rapture. You're waiting for a revolution. Did you hear me? You're not waiting for a rapture, church. You're waiting for a revival. You need God to move. God to move. He didn't save you for church. He saved you for harvest. Did you hear me? He didn't save you for heaven either. Heaven is your reward. This is your inheritance. Amen, brother? Heaven is your reward. Harvest is your inheritance. Look, if you're just tuning in, tent city, four miles of tents in the backdrop and the shadow of Disneyland. This is profound. I agree. Troy King Sr., let revival begin in our streets. See, revival has been synonymous with church. Folks, revival is supposed to be in cemeteries, not synagogues. Did you hear me? Revival is supposed to be in cemeteries, not synagogues. God needs an awakening. Look. Look at this. But you know what makes this more exciting? We've got Christians from as far away as San Francisco and Sacramento. They drove hours today 
to come out not to hear Chad Taylor preach, but to go to the streets and feed the homeless, to help the sick and the dying, the dilapidated, the, the desperate, the daunting. Oh my God, can you feel it folks? If you're watching this, you have to feel this. This is just unbelievable. Let me flip the camera, you gotta see this. I'm taking you to the front lines, folks. I feel like Geraldo. <laughs> I feel like Oprah Winfrey. This is it, folks. Church, church, welcome home. Michael Armstrong from Cleveland, welcome home. This is our first love, folks. And 2017, God is issuing a decree, a declaration, a mandate, a great commission. Church, it's time for a homecoming. It's time to return to the harvest field. Ruth, it's time to meet your Boaz. The threshing floor is now made ready. This is epic, folks. Look at... As far as you look, look at the epic. This is just incredible. Seahawks are losing, brother. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. I'm trying not to be too awkward here. I'm, I don't want to intrude in people's privacy. So I'm keeping the camera. Look at this, folks. Listen, listen. They need Jesus. They don't need another conference. They don't need another pre prophetic presbytery. They don't need another third heaven experience and gold dust and jewels. They don't need all this rhetoric and verbiage of postmodern Christianity. They need love. They need love, man. This ain't Woodstock, folks. This is a tent city. These are homeless people. We got Denise Charles. Look at this, Denise. And ben, ben Charles. Look at this, Denise. This is Anaheim. Two miles in each direction are homeless people. Ben, Charles, and Denise, it's time for you guys to get back here. We found the jackpot. We found the mother load. As far as you can see. As far as you can see. Now, folks, now don't think this is just synonymous with California. It's Nebraska. Come on. It's Nebraska. It's everywhere. People are dying, church. They need love. They need help. They need a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They need Jesus, folks. Come on. Jacksonville, Tennessee, they need Jesus. Jacksonville, Florida, rather. Look at this. It's, folks, it's, it's as far as you can see. Now look over here. That's the California Angel sign. You know that sign, that famous sign, the big baseball stadium. We're right here in the middle of hell. Absolutely unbelievable as far as you can see. Now here's what's cool. Guess what we got here tonight, guys? Guess what we got here? Boy, we got... Dream Center's here with us. We've got barbecues, 500 hot dogs, gospel tracks in Spanish and English. We got Santa Biblias. We got Jesus Cristo and for the Vato Loco. We got Jesus, man. This is it, folks. We pray for you, the Charles family. They're in Olympia, Washington. If you want to get involved in something, Washington, tune in to uh, Crazy Faith Ministries. Put your website in the uh, in the comments, Denise. We need to begin to under gird these ministries they need our help look at how harrowing look how big the problem is my god as far as you can see as far as you can see let me let me end this let me conclude this tonight we're, at, we're going to be in anaheim christian center at 6 30 folks listen we don't got to be in our prayer closet be out in the field now the prayer closet there's a sign on the spiritual prayer closet <laughs> closed <laughs> that doesn't mean you don't pray it means you're like ruth and esther you're like peter and peter and, and john at the gate beautiful your hour of prayer is supposed to be in the streets folks it's got to be in the harvest now it's got to be where people are hurting people are bleeding so we, i'm so thankful let's just pray let's just pray father we thank you right now a homecoming for the body of christ father you're calling us back to our first love we're not gonna we're not gonna be asleep at the wheel no more we're gonna go out and help we're gonna go out and love the people we're gonna go out to our tent cities under bridges nursing homes prisons rehabs we're gonna go out now and be the light of the world the salt of the earth father we're gonna take our we're gonna take our candle from underneath the basket we're not gonna hide our love anymore we're gonna come out and love people my god my god my god now look at this home Look at this, folks. These aren't just the deplorables, folks. These, they got a nice little white picket fence in front of their, they're trying to live. They're trying to live the best they can. Uh, they, these are human beings. This is humanity. This is you and I. And it's just epic. It's just, oh my God. This is beautiful.
Let's walk back towards the other. So they're feeding people right now. Let's walk back towards this. If you're just tuning in, you got to go back and, and let's get... Now, listen, folks, this is Bill Henderson. His name, if you've watched TBN like me, I got saved on TBN. This dude, you saw his face all the time. He's the founder of the original power team. He holds world records for feats of strength. He's a, just a prolific minister, but his passion is the streets. And I want Bill to pray for you. This is a, this is a gift. You don't got to go to TBN. Bill, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Come here. Can you pray for us? This is my live, little live video on my Facebook here. Bill, can you, I just introduced you, can you pray again? There's so many Christians that are tuning in. They just don't know how to do this. They, yeah. They're, you know, they've been grown up in church and it's awkward for them to cross the street and they feel a culture shock. They don't feel, they feel ill-equipped. Yeah. Can you just pray for the church that we can get out here to do you this? You know, like one young lady couldn't make it today. So she went out and purchased like gloves and scarves and hats and just a lot of stuff that we, the soldiers, we can now give it away. Yes. Remember Matthew says, when you've done it to the least of these, my brethren, you've done it to me. So we just, we release the same joy and this presence of God that we feel out here in the highways and byways to come upon you, come the on. viewing audience, mm -hmm. and may the Lord bless and empower you, give you his peace and prosper you so that you can get up off the seat Come on. And onto your feet and into the street. And Say won't that, that be neat? I like that. Up off your seat and onto your feet and into the street. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you can do it. Now, God is with you. I got one more request. We had a pastor on earlier. A lot of pastors like Roger Sullivan, this great Anaheim Christian Center, yeah, lets yeah. us use this building to come out in the streets and mobilize. A lot of pastors out there don't know how to make the bridge the gap to make the transition from just church into the harvest and street so mm. let's just pray for pastors that are tuning oh, in Father, they can do this yes lord we just release that mantle we release the heart of god if jesus were here today he would be walking right alongside of this freeway oh, god. trust me to the least and to the uh, disenfranchised to the poor the naked the hungry the imprisoned, that's where Jesus is. Yes. And if we take anything we can, uh, we all grab boxes of stuff and we walk from across the freeway and we set up a table and now all the people in the tent city are coming down to get resources from heaven. Yes. Oh, come on somebody. Woo! So Lord, <laughs> let on. the pastors, let the shepherds have the heart of Almighty God, Yeshua yes. HaMashiach. Oh, come on Jesus, somebody. Jesus. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what's I, I'm going kind of long right now, but because these this this Facebook Live is residual, you can this you know you can view this hours from now. It's kind of funny on Facebook Live that uh, you know people three hours from now will think that we're live. Hey, Chad, how are you? Well, you know what? We're 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 filled with gratitude. Yeah. We're absolutely overwhelmed with the opportunity to come out here in the streets. Now, any of you that are just tuning in, what you're seeing behind me is not the Taj Mahal. It's not Trump Tower. This is not the Conference Center. This is not Saddleback Church. This is not the Crystal Cathedral. Folks, this is reality. This is a reality check. This is a tent city that stretches for two miles one way and two miles the other way. As far as you can see, there are homeless people. There are people dying. Listen, folks. I want to give you some commentary. If you just tuned in, right behind me is a tent city, unprecedented, in Anaheim, synonymous with Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. This is the place families come for fun. And everywhere you go, there's homeless people. Look at this. As far as you can see, tent city, people dying. Listen, folks, how tragic would it be for all my third heaven friends, for all my uh, uh, ecstatic friends, uh, blissful friends out there. Let me pose a question to you. How tragic it would be to go to heaven without anybody else. Can you imagine sitting at the Lamb's Feast at the great table and sitting across from Corey Ten Boom and she looks at you and says, what did you do for God's kingdom? Well, I uh, prophesied. Come on, folks. We need a testimony, right? You've got to get a testimony in 2017. You've got to get a story to tell. You've got to get people that have been touched by Jesus. The homeless, the disenfranchised, the discontent, the devalued, the homeless, the disconnected, David's mighty men, the cave of Adullam. This is it, folks, and we've got like 50 Christians, oh, maybe 30, 30, 40 Christians out here feeding people, helping people. Oh, we bless. We got Denise and Ben Charles. 
they literally have a week every every week in Olympia feeding the homeless. They're going oh, out right now. Bless their heart. My God. I have to make it up there one of these you days. You do. Do you know 107 people every minute die? Oh my God. And the sad the sad stats by Barner Research, and I know them to be true because yes. of my own interviews. Only three to five percent make heaven. My God. There's so many people, they think because they're good or because they used to be a Baptist or they've got all their reasons why they're going to heaven, but Jesus plainly said you must be born again. Yes. And if you're watching this video, Come if on. you're not born again, Come on, brother. say a little prayer like this. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Do it for me. Do it for me. Save me. Save me. And I'll serve you. And I'll serve you. I did that you. 39 years ago, Chad. 39 years ago. Uh, last month. And I look, we're still here. <laughs> still <doing it. laughs> and you know, here, look at we're gathered, we have a little convocation here, yeah. bunch of Christians. All you guys tuning in, you are at the conference, but the conference is in the streets. Uh -huh. This is the paradigm uh -huh. shift, friend. Yeah. The conferences of the future will not just be yes. in an air conditioned room, <laughs> the convenience of a prophetic presbytery. We are hitting the streets now. It's a road less traveled, but it's going to get a lot more populated in the days ahead. We are going to change this world, man, with uncommon people, unsung heroes, uneducated. Yes. You know, you know, Bill, I have a PhD. I mean GED. Oh, come I on, always somebody. get those letters mixed up. Come on, somebody. Uh, God can use anybody. Come on, somebody. So come on, let's just give Jesus some praise right here yes. in the streets. Thank you, Lord. Glory Thank you, to God. Father. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say hi to the world, folks. As far as you can see, folks, you should have been here. As far as you can see, homeless, homeless, homeless. We love you guys. I'm praying for people on right now. Uh, Karen, Karen Sears, Rosie Bowden, Doreen, Tony Van Wervin, Su Suzanne Bowman, Haverhill Mass. We're praying for all of you. Find your way back into your streets, folks. This, this problem hasn't ended. It's growing worse. There are people... Uh, this is an epidemic. This is a this is a, a crisis. This is an SOS. This is a Macedonian call, folks. This tent city stretches for four miles in a city synonymous with Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse, Disneyland, Anaheim, California. You know, this is a problem. This they need the light. They need Jesus. They need a, a cup of cold water. They need some food. They need a hamburger. Hey brother, God bless you, man. Thank you, Amen. This is reality. We got the police here now. Police have showed up. The good, the good police. My God, my God, my God. Yeah, yeah, you know, let me turn this camera. Uh, uh, Bowman's, uh, Suzanne uh, Bowman and her husband, you, you guys have pioneered this. You, you really have. You were out in the streets when it wasn't popular, when, uh, you know, everyone wanted us to go up to Toronto. You were out in the streets plowing, uh, breaking the fallow ground. I see a new, fresh wind coming into your, your sails, Bowman's. God is going to refresh you because he has need of you now more than ever. He really does. I know it's kind of approaching retirement and, and, and you're going to have fun. Uh, you're going to have a great, wonderful, uh, your latter years are greater than your former years. But, but listen, God has need of you. You have a wealth of experience for the homeless, for the streets, for the youth that the church needs. So we really, really just pray and bless you and all of your efforts. And uh, wow, what a, what a time. What a time. So I'm taking you back real quick to where we're feeding people. Um, now listen, folks, you don't need to tune into Hawaii Five O and uh and ncis you get out here in the streets this is exciting folks this is there was a time in my life i would have just ran i would have ran and hid when i seen a cop car but now we just embrace them let me take you back they're feeding people folks we got barbecues out here look at this god i'm so excited we bless you butch christian jacksonville florida i haven't ministered in jacksonville since 1999 when i was down there in pensacola florida with steve hill and michael brown and all those guys this is, I can't wait to get back there. Butch, listen, Butch, let's just do it in your home. You know, let's just do a home group. If we can't get a church on board, let's just break the ice and do something. And, and I think it will set a precedent. You know, it'll open doors, but we, I think it's critical mass. We can't wait anymore, guys. As far as you can see, the homeless, the lost, the broken, the dejected, the desperate, but here it is, folks. One last view. I'm about to turn this off. We've got a 6.30 meeting. Isn't this awesome? We're going from the homeless camp into the church. That's This is how it's supposed to be. Osmosis. Seamless. What's up, brother? How you 
doing? Hey, God bless you, God man. Bless you, Amen. <laughs> He's carrying a whole box of water. Look at this. Here's Christians at their best. Look at this. What you guys doing today, man? Hey, we're passing out food to the homeless. Praise Jesus to glorify what he's done to us. Woo! Hey, we found out that Burger King delivers, but guess who else does? Jesus. Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> we're doing this for Jesus, baby. Are you doing it for Jesus? All for the glory man. Right now, man. Yay! The, glory. the way, the truth, the life. Come on. Yeah. I bet you have a testimony. You guys have been saved, haven't you? Yes, yeah. What God saved you from in a few words? Oh, man, I, I, I've been out here on the streets, homeless, addicted to heroin, addip, ad, addicted to narcotics. And, uh, you know, I just surrendered my life and I found Jesus. He replaced all that, uh, all that pain wow. and everything I was running from. He replaced that with joy and true yes. love. You know, I'm trying to spread it, trying to give it back now. Trying to spread it. Look at you. Amen. Well, we got Oreo. See, got God. Oreos. Hey, man, God is good. Look right here. Can I have one? I'm just kidding. Man, this is good. <laughs> well, you want a party, folks. Get out in the streets. You want a real Christian party. You want a real, you want the real ecstasy. You want the real Christian bliss. You get out here in the streets because there's nothing like it. It's unparalleled. It's unconventional. It's unorthodox. It is real. This is the real deal. <laughs> Usually I wouldn't go this long, but you know what? I owe it to you, folks, because this is it. We got to do this. I want to introduce you to Frank Saldana. Uh, a lot of you can tune in. You got to rewind the tape. This is an incredible yeah, moment in time in Anaheim, California. They are out here preaching the gospel. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, what do we got here? We're gonna have hot dogs in a minute. You're cooking for Jesus. Jesus all day. Jesus all day. Oh man. Hey, Frank. Hey. Introduce yourself, man. You're hey. tell them where you're from, and we're from uh, Stockton, California. Out here, just loving here in Anaheim. Man, uh, just having a good time, huh? Yeah. T tell us how they could uh, connect with you. What's your website and stuff? It's uh, intercityaction.org. <laughs> we're hoping that somebody here wants to come home today. We'll take them home with us. Wow. It's a program where we're family. And so, it, uh, it is, man. Awesome. And look, at you don't need a lot of gifts. You yeah, just gotta have some cheese puffs. <laughs> just have some cheese puffs, man. Here you go. It's a cheap puffs, man. <laughs> Man, look at this. The church in action. Oh, man. I won't get you long, bro. I want to impose. Oh, yeah. Hey. All the flash photography. Oh, let me see. Look at it. We are introducing to you the one and only. Who? Kegger. The one and only Kegger and his master. <laughs> we love you, brother. We love you, man. Wow. Hey, what's up, Rob? Alaska in the house. Hey, Rob, tell the whole world. This ain't, you've been a Christian for a long time. You're prophetic. You're gifted. You've been to conferences. You've seen it all. You have a closet full of t-shirts. You've been there, done that. How, it's not hard to do this, is it? No. And it's simply just walking out your front door. And yes. And deciding you're going to go down the street to the nearest park. Come on. Or under the bridge that's close by your home yes you know it's just um whether you have to just go down to the store i mean 99 cent stores are all over california yes you can go to the 99 cent store you can buy lunch meat you can buy bread you could come down and you could just make sandwiches for them and at the same time you, guys want you could you could uh let them know about the reality of come on jesus is come on brother and his presence yes and how much he loves us because it's real yes so i mean he lives inside of us yes we can't help but witness and share this god with this world it's contagious so, isn't it yes it is god and you know we haven't had one person yet we haven't had one person you know really get mad we a lot of people have they're afraid they're like we can't do this so that you know they're going to be rejected turned down uh, rebuttaled, rebuked, reproved. What other adjectives can I come up with right now? Uh, you know what? It's not. The people are open now more than ever. All the political upheaval, all the crisis, financial, all the uncertainty in the world. People need Jesus now more than ever. But you know what? Without a witness, without someone telling them. You know, back when I was yeah. a criminal, if the witness didn't show up on the day of court, I went scot-free. Yes. Without a witness, there's no conviction. Without a witness, there's no compassion. We need a witness to share the love of Jesus. And it's, so, and it's come in on. his presence. It's, a re, it's in his presence and where his heart is at. And his heart is, Jesus' heart is to be out here, to reach out to people. Come on. So, 
uh, we just have we just have to make the initiative. The time is now. It's reality. Let's just get get out there and do it. Yeah, so, yeah, man. So we're kingdom carriers. We are kingdom characters. We car carriers. Carriers, and we're kingdom characters too. <laughs> yeah. I love this brother here. This is a, this is a, the odd couple, and, and we love Jesus, man. And. Uh, the Bible says go out two by two. Find a good friend and say, hey, let's go get a cup of coffee. You're, yep. buy, you're buying this week. And uh, go find people that need Jesus, man. It, this is just epic. This is so... Look at this. They're, they're, they, are, they're, they are hustling. I got the camera this way. Look at this. Look at this. Man, man. Wow. What's up, brother? Hey, Chad. God, what are you out here doing? I'm helping you. Amen. 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 My son Jason here. That's your son? My son yeah. We already introduced him to the I world. Was, uh, and Kegger. Is. And Kegger. He's, uh, he's Man. A, he's he's oh, yeah. Well, oh, you know what? We're going to come to your service tonight. And, and, and you know what, though? No, you know, Jesus said something profound, yeah. you know, when, when, when they said, hey, Jesus, we want to follow you. I think they were suspecting to go to some Taj Mahal. Yeah. Jesus replied, foxes have holes, birds there have nests, but I have nowhere to lay my head. Exactly. That was Jesus himself. Yeah. So we're in good company, man. Yeah. Gosh. You guys do look alike. I see the resemblance now. <laughs> I kind of look like him. <laughs> look at this. Let's go back here. Look at this, guys. We are... What do we got going here, folks? Uh -huh. We're camping. Yes! 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 Oh, I could use a bottle of water. Oh, my. Look at this. Look at all the stuff we're giving away, folks. Look at all this, folks. Look at this. Jesus. But well, we love you guys. Listen. Thank you for joining me. I want to give one uh, final, uh, for any of you tuning in, for you that have already been here, you've heard this about 10 times. For any of you that are tuning in, we are in Anaheim, California, synonymous with Disneyland and Donald Duck and the Mickey Mouse Show. And for as far as you can see, two miles in that direction and two miles in that direction are homeless people. It is a tent city that's unprecedented. It is a, it's an injustice, it's a clarion call, it's a challenge to the church to become conscious and aware of its harvest. We can't get lost in the upper room no more, folks. We can't get lost in the catacombs of conference anymore. And, and you prophets, apostles, pastors, and leaders, we need to have a quickening. You need to lead the charge. You need to take us out here. We need leaders to give us an example, to give us an exemplary example of how to reach our world for Jesus. We can't just stand in the pulpit and in the prayer line anymore and just give out token prophecies. We need to get out here into the world and share Jesus. We gotta set a precedent like never before. So I wanna give a final thank you. If you're just tuning in, I know a lot of you are you're just seeing this for the first time. You see cop cars behind me. It's not your typical meeting. Folks, we're in the streets today. We're in Anaheim, and we're taking all of this food. I mean, it's just an endless, unbelievable experience. And, and I want to thank you. I want to just close this video. Rewind the tape. I'm going to post this on Facebook shortly. You've got to see this. This is epic. But I want to thank you. I want to thank all the Christians that helped me do this. Folks, a church did not buy my plane ticket here. We got the church's support. We're actually in three different churches, but we're in grassroots churches. We're in churches that don't have a lot of money. They live off a, a shoestring budget, but they want Jesus. They want help to get out in the streets. They need leadership and people to help mobilize them and equip the saints. You guys helped me. You guys sent a dollar, $10. $100. You helped me with a rental car. This is what you're helping me do, folks. You know, this is what you're doing. And we are so grateful for you. The prayers, they're priceless. Not just the money on PayPal. Your prayers for us. This is what we're doing, folks. We're not just going out here and selling books. We ain't got nothing for sale. We're, we're giving it away for free. We're loving the loss. We're loving the harvest. And we're equipping the church for works of ministry. We love you guys. John Coleman, Cindy Pillow, Leslie Brown, Rosie Bowden, Linda Wells, Suzanne Bowman, Butch Christian. We love you. We encourage you. Now get out there and do it. You've got it. Get out there and do it. Get out there and do it. We love you. We'll be at Anaheim Christian Center. We'll be at the Raw Biker Church tomorrow, Sunday morning and Sunday night. And we're going to continue to reach a dying world for Jesus.